You guys, <clears throat> there's a message coming through. I just had like a story that was told to me and I'm going to try to tell it again with the cards. Um, hopefully that will trigger my memory back into what needs to be said, but essentially the real message here is there's some sort of a karmic energy that's creating a, or like a principality or an archon energy that is trying to, um, oh sorry Nina, we got Nina here, and I just apparently woke her up, now she's, she was sleeping and comfy, and now we're doing a reading, he's the pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay, this is where the cards go Nina, so I can't have you lay there, I want you to lay right here, right on the side, right where you were, okay, before I started to do the reading, the message is essentially, there's a false light, there is a false light timeline. Somebody, a narcissist, has created a false light timeline that they want somebody else to Somebody has manufactured a false light timeline harvesting somebody else's energy or harvesting many people's energy. Essentially, this person, it, it seems like it could be like a parent or some sort of a lead, leader in a position of sorts or something like that. Essentially this person just loves attention is what I'm hearing or understanding. This may or may not be part of it, but, but and they may not obviously like attention, but there's something about the way that they have built their life that creates a sort of like validation from everybody around them, right? So they're living within their ego and, and constantly trying to supply themselves with validation. Now, the problem with this, okay, so that's clearly a narcissist. The problem with this, or what I'm hearing or understanding, and I knew that Nina did not want me to do this reading. She, I really just need to kind of chill. My cats have been telling me a little bit, but um, the message is essentially there is somebody who This person may or may not know it, but they have created a paradigm that almost makes them like God, the God or the goddess or whatever it is. They have, it's, because what I'm also hearing or what I was also seeing was put no other God before me. And what I was understanding is, is that there's somebody in a situation who is looking at this leader, this person in whoever it is, okay, we'll pull some cards, but is looking at this leader, f like, for answers, but it's, and, and I'm hearing it, like, put no other gods before me, or put no other god before me, and it's like, you're not supposed to be looking to this person for answers, you're supposed to look to yourself for answers, or you're supposed to look to God for answers, because there's something else that I'm, that Spirit has tried to tell me as well, and this is way crazy, but, and I don't even know if I can put this all out there. We had the Sagittarius full moon too, so there, there's a lot of liberating going on and uh, understanding um, how we may have uh, been, uh, how do you say, um, restraining ourselves, so to speak. But there's somebody who needs to, who has been conditioned to look to this person for answers. And maybe it's a like a fawning response or something like that because they don't want to create a narcissistic, um, what is that called? Like a, a narcissistic, uh, hold on you guys, I gotta Google it. A narcissistic, it's when a narcissist has an ego death, apparent, uh, essentially, it's when, when nothing is in control and nothing makes sense, so to speak, but it's something, it's called something, a uh, narcissistic collapse. So it's like maybe somebody doesn't want to create this person to have some sort of a narcissistic collapse. That's not even the word that I'm looking for, though. It's something else. Um, but it's like somebody doesn't want to create, like, uh, okay, so... I don't know. They, okay, there's just, um, but there's something about, and this is why it's important also, you know, I'm not telling you what to believe. 
um, you know, because, you know, um, honestly, in my opinion, it's all kind of the same thing, just different definitions, right? Tower of Babel kind of style, but it's, um, maybe, um, there could also be something about someone who's like parents or someone or some somebody in a leadership role who also like speaks against religion okay now I'm I don't think that like um like I'm not militant religion like I how do I like I'm not really I'm not a big fan of like uh you know when when religion and I would say that God is not a big fan of religions when they become very militant but religion is important to give us something to look at beyond the humans in front of us because the humans in front of us I there's a message coming through I'm sorry you guys it it might not be for this reading, to be perfectly honest. It may just be for me to understand in the context of this reading. Let's just pull some cards, all right? I got the King of Swords. I have the Empress. I also have the Nine of Swords. So, you could be a, a man. You could be an adult male. An air sign, perhaps. Um, you could be uh, who's dealing with a, a narcissistic parent, a narcissistic mother with the Empress and the um, King of Swords that just kind of flew through there. Um, or honestly, just take what resonates. This is a general reading. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. The entire reading may resonate with you. Essentially, the message really is, and this is coming through very strong, is, is you can't, you don't look at anybody f for the answers above yourself, but there's somebody who has been manipulated to not know where to look essentially they don't know to look to god they don't know they haven't been empowered enough to look to themselves and then they have this whoever this leader is male or female parental or not you know um this leader has manufactured some sort of a like not even a labyrinth, but like a maze has created almost like a, um, I'm hearing like a puzzle too. So it's kind of like whoever you are, you're really good at solving puzzles. So it, it would actually be very easy for you to get yourself out of this because of how many lifetimes you have dealt with this. But I'm also hearing that there's something that's very disheartening about this. So somebody needs to empower themselves, open up their heart, to empower themselves and to get themselves out of this, to have more faith in themselves. This is really sad reading, honestly, you guys, um, because of just the things that I'm seeing and understanding. And um, But let's pull some more cards. I like the Queen of Cups too, so you might be a water sign. Could be male or female. Somebody might have imposter syndrome. somebody's holding on to some old beliefs they do not serve you okay it's something about not working well with people or something about um the idea that people don't work well together or there's something about that that and, and it's not even like and i'm not even hearing like somebody needs to learn how to work better with people what i'm hearing is, is that somebody needs to know in their heart that there are people like you who do work well with people and do not exploit good people okay there's something about that there there's a very important message for somebody with that okay that's gonna help you to open up your heart and and open it up to this this new reality um, imposter syndrome is a behavioral health condition so somebody might also have imposter syndrome and I mean this this makes complete sense so I'm gonna actually read the definition because 
It, it makes sense. All right. So it's uh, imposter syndrome is the condition of feeling anxious and not experiencing success internally despite being high performing in external objective ways. Um, it, uh, so yeah, like somebody hasn't really been very empowered, but they've had to empower, empower themselves. And so I, I feel like whoever you are, what I'm hearing also is whoever you are, you've been through so much and you are so very capable of, um, it's so weird because it's like whoever somebody has been through, whatever somebody has been through in this false light timeline, so to speak, whatever they've had to go through and endure, it's almost, it's almost, see, and this is something too that I feel like there's a karmic energy that wants you to think that you, to keep you in the cycle too. So only take what resonates you guys. Cause this is what I'm hearing and understanding. All right. Um, it's May 22nd. Okay. And it's 1121. So I don't know the numbers two, two, two and one, one, one might also be pretty significant, but it's like somebody, somebody needs to, um, okay. So People with uh, imposter syndrome may feel like they are not good enough or undeserving of their achievements, even when evidence suggests otherwise. These feelings can lead to anxiety, depression, and fear of failure. So I feel like somebody feels like as much as they do, it's just kind of never enough. And or it's like somebody... Um, Nina, your tail is getting real sassy right now. Um... <laughs> There's something about somebody in your past making you feel, or there's, if this reading is for you, there's something about somebody in your past making you not feel good enough and not making you feel deserving, um, which almost made somebody t t interesting. Somebody who's used to be an overachiever kind of becomes somewhat of an underachiever, but even when they're an underachiever, it, it's like they still um, are a very high performing individual. Okay. If that makes sense. So that's in, in, but something about this imposter syndrome, if this reading is for you, that, that uh, the way that made people made you feel it, it made, it led to anxiety, depression, um, and, and, and being isolated and in this isolation that, I'm hearing in this isolation there then became a sort of fear of failure. It, that may or may not resonate for you. That, But there's something about... Um, it, it, hmm. We're trying to reverse engineer this, okay? Shadow work, all right? Somebody needs to do some shadow work um, with regards to this. Somebody needs to... Um, I feel like somebody is working on their anxiety and depression. Okay, cognitive behavioral therapy is really helpful with uh, depression um, and a lot of things. Um, listening to the body, uh, helping to heal the nervous system will help with anxiety, um, which will help somebody to be able to, to move forward. Okay, there's this... Um, It's like one foot in front of the other. It's like once somebody does what they're supposed to do, it's just going to kind of come back to them naturally. It's like there was like 20 years or something like that, or there was like 10 years or there was, I don't know, there's something, 22 years maybe. So I don't know, something where it's like there was a time because now spirit's showing me like, like Jesus, <laughs> you know, there's like 11 years in the Bible where he's unaccounted for and, and, and then I don't, that's not really a good analogy, God, ancestors of the highest way, like, but I get it though. It's a positive analogy. Um, there's something that happened to you. Somebody had somebody very supportive when they were younger, and then there's something that happened somewhere in between there, and then now as an adult, somebody is trying to fix that. Um, but there is something very important. There's a very important lesson here. And it's that you... It really is just basically that nobody knows what's right for you except for you. You're the only person who knows what's right for you. For you. Yeah. And maybe somebody had this person come back into their life and kind of like trigger them back into a sort of um like a relapse 
so to speak, of of being in in a smaller, um, like feeling smaller. Um, mm, the six of swords here in the upright position. So that's a card of moving forward, moving away from rough waters into calmer waters. Mm. What else, spirit? Anything else? I think that that's the reading. Hmm. Yeah, there may have been somebody too who would like match energy as well, like match the karmic energy, okay? Um, you may have stopped matching the energy though because and you don't want to match karmic energy because it, it makes it, it makes monitoring spirits it makes it more easily for monitoring spirits to to um, have access um, but there's something also about being careful how people talk to you as well in the past or it's like somebody would try to like speak to another person and almost manifest bad things into their life and, but then I'm also seeing like somebody's ancestors like checking the list like okay all right that happened that happened that happened that happened okay karma 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 for that karma for that karma for that karma for that okay Oop, they're not coming back from that one okay um you know, soul contract ended like something like that going on okay Yeah, I don't. Yeah, let's see what else. Yeah. Okay. I feel like somebody is going to be receiving some divine guidance with regards to like how to move forward. It may even be within like a love relationship. Okay, there may have been a uh, the three of swords in the reverse position with the ten of swords. Obviously, this this says a lot, right? That there's some sort of um, betrayal that caused um, no expansion. In, in someone's love life um, due to some sort of a blockage usually but with the ten of swords here it's like um, it may not be self-inflicted I know I said something like self restraining and, and uh, releasing things like that but there's a but I had the nine of swords and then we have the ten of swords so there's some sort of a betrayal here but somebody's going to be receiving divine guidance with regards to how to move forward. Yeah, it's like somebody, there's a karmic energy, and I don't want to get too much in the karmic energy because that's not my business, but like there's something about this karmic energy that, uh, it's like they were really proud. They didn't want to have to go th through the, the work. They didn't have to do the work. They didn't want to go through the, to the humbling river. You know what I mean? Like they didn't, they didn't, they thought that they could take a shortcut. They thought that they could be God. They could pretend to be God. Now they're going to receive karma for that. They're going to receive their karma for that. Um, there's something about them trying to wrap you into this karma, though. And that's, I think, what your ancestors are checking the list for. Like, making sure that you're not getting pulled into that karma and not getting pulled into that energy. So there might also be somebody who's having to be very 
cognizant with regards to how they are speaking also. I was reading... God, I wish I would have wrote that down or I would have paid attention a little bit better. But, you know, the things that come in our ears... I mean, there's, you know, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Like, there's serious meaning to that. So, it could be like somebody... There could be like a... Like this leader or this whoever this karmic person is. Um, I don't know. There's something about like gossip or speaking poorly. And I'm hearing abracadabra. Like, 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 wor like what is it? Like words. Um, I'm trying to look for the actual... Okay, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, I don't know why I was looking for the literal translation of abracadabra, but... Um, Zimzalab... No, that's not... Okay, but there's something about, like, using words to empower them, but not for, like, good things here. And that's not you, but it's almost like the words that they were using to empower this negative energy and to empower this false light timeline to keep somebody to keep somebody's energy coveted to keep somebody it's almost like misery loves company like like fuck oh my goodness it's like if 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 i'm going to go down i'm not going down alone but it's like this karmic didn't have to go down like that like they didn't have to do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just had to, like... I just... I can't. Okay. Let's... So, there might be something... Like, maybe somebody needs to read books, or maybe somebody needs to... I don't know. There's something about... Or, or maybe, you like, write music, and maybe that's, like, a cathartic release for you with regards to... Or, I don't know. Something... But there's something about a, a cathartic release with regards to... Um, vocabulary and somebody needing to speak positivity into their life because somebody for so very long has been doing the opposite okay but I also feel like you have angels uh, earth angels even who are praying and thinking of you very fondly like I'm seeing somebody throughout their life just like having people always remembering them so like whoever you are I feel like this could be an indication that this is your reading too, but like whoever this reading is for, whoever you are, you're very memorable in people's lives. And that's actually, it's supposed to be like that for somebody. I don't know whoever you are, whoever this reading is for, but it's like, you're, you're supposed to be memorable. Um, and it, and it was sort of as like a spiritual defense to this, um, this smear campaigning and this, um, this negative manifesting that started a long ass time ago. Like, yeah, it's like uh, moves and counter moves from the divine. What else, Spirit? Anything else? I feel like that's the reading, you guys. I got judgment here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and then we've got the six of uh, wands. So I feel like that's the reading. Yeah, and judgment. I just split the deck again and judgment. Okay. So I feel like that's the reading. It, the spirit of discernment is incredibly important. I feel like whoever you are, though, you have mastered the spirit of discernment and or you are mastering the spirit of discernment. I feel like whoever you are, you, you've really taken your time on observing certain things in life and observing and, and making sure that certain things are being grounded into your life and into your being um, that has helped you to prepare for this. There's somebody who, I feel like with this uh, trumpet though, also in the judgment card, there is somebody who kind of needs to like still wake up. Like, and remember who the fuck you are, so to speak. Okay? Yeah, 
round and round. You don't want to go on this this cycle again and again and again and again. And you don't want to do that. I feel like whoever you are, you've handled this really well. I feel like whoever you, There's something about this poised. Loyal heart. You might have love coming in. Somebody... Somebody who can't stop thinking about you. Just take what resonates. It might be important to uh, practice... Uh, being present, present in, in the present moment. You know, don't think too much about the future, don't think too much about the past, but really focus on the present moment and healing. Understanding, uh, think thinker came out in the reverse position. So as thinker came out in the reverse position, I, I, I was receiving a bit of a download where it's almost like somebody is thinking too much about the puzzle, so to speak, or thinking too much about the ties and all of the karmic pieces and stuff like that. And what I'm also what I'm understanding is that you honestly you don't have to think about any of that because your your essence, who you are, knows. And your ancestors are actually the ones that are making those ties for you. You are just present for that on the astral plane. Somehow you are connected with your guides. Okay? And you're observing what they're putting together after you've observed what was observed in the human world, if that makes any sense. Okay? So don't think about it too much because in that also that's, that's holding on to... That's, that's preventing the ability to create some sort of resolve within the situation because you don't want to hold on to that energy. It's like somebody also I think needs to forgive themselves for like forgetting that somebody was abusive to them and allowing themselves to be allowing themselves to be abused again also. So there's somebody's inner child who's still healing. Somebody has an inner child wound that is still healing. There's something about that. You guys should Google that. I cannot, I cannot remember the term for the life of me right now, but it is, you know, if, if you're dealing with a narcissist, you should just like Google narcissistic abuse, uh, survivor tips, definitions, things like that. But it's, there's a common, it is pretty common for survivors of narcissistic abuse. Um, Sorry, you guys, that there's other things now coming in. I, th I thought I was going to stop the reading. Um, but it is common for survivors of narcissistic abuse to, to almost beat themselves up, so to speak, for, for being pulled back in. That's that trauma bond, being pulled back in and then let out, pulled back in let out maybe you know but and, and it's also reverse projecting you know you're a good person so you want to think that the world is a good person but somebody's built the spirit of discernment okay so and somebody also just needs to like if this message is for you and you know all of my readings are general readings little bits and pieces may resonate with you little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else like a bunch of us might be dealing with narcissists like a bunch of you guys a bunch of us whoever you know what I mean like we all might be dealing with narcissists in our in our life and there are just different little messages that somebody you know might need but um um, I'm also hearing like survivors remorse now too so like maybe somebody feels bad that they went no contact for the rest like they feel bad for the rest of their family though but you you need to I don't you need to worry about yourself somebody just really needs to be in the present moment and really needs to like worry about themselves compassion is incomplete if it does not include oneself and, and you can't really do a whole lot for anybody else unless if you're all good to go yeah that all that glitters so that trauma bond being pulled back in front to a narcissist and and being and being nice so to speak but it, it is yeah so somebody yeah clean it up don't beat yourself up about it clean it up um 
those those wounds, those those childhood wounds. This is shadow work. We're healing here. Okay, that's the end of the reading. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for being here. If you'd like to make a donation to the channel, all that information is down below. That's it. Okay, bye guys.